Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I beat ESCOM's load shedding or rolling blackouts like we have in our country for under 1000 Rand. Now these are three different uh, UPSs, backup power supplies for your PC. These are the cheap little ones that only allow the PC to stay on for like 10 minutes so that you manage to switch off, switch off and save your work. I've got three different models here. The first one is the Mesa. This one is an 850 VA UPS. This one is a 650 Proline UPS. And this one is a 1000 VA K Star UPS. I bought about five of these UPSs at auction for 500 Rand. And uh, what usually happened to any of these UPSs is that their battery dies and then the UPS doesn't work anymore. So nine times out of 10, when you get these UPSs, it's only the battery that's dead. And they toss them out, get a new one. So I bought about five of them on, on the auction and all five of them had bad batteries. So I switched them out and they were working fine. But what I did was uh, I put a bigger battery on these so that I can run for a longer period of time. When you see these UPSs at auction, or a second hand store if you have an option look at the back you can see this one has the bigger plug on there where you can plug a lead in there why as this one does not and then you'd have to get one of these wires with the Janus coupler at the end so you can plug your lead in there this bigger one also has the uh, normal plug socket so yeah if you have an option get the one with the normal plug socket that'll make your life a bit easier so what I managed to run with my bigger battery on these was the Wi-Fi and one LED bulb. And if there was sport on, I even managed to keep the TV on, connected to Wi-Fi for two and a half hours to watch that. The standard batteries inside these UPSs are 7 amp hour 12 volt. This one is also a 7 amp hour 12 volt. And this one has two 7 amp hour 12 volt batteries. So that's 14 amp hours. So what I did, I bought the cheapest car battery that I can that I could that was a 45 amp hour 12 volt battery and it cost around about 600 rand and uh, I'll show you now what I did to connect that up now when you open up this uh, UPS you will see one of these batteries inside there like I said this is a 7 amp hour 12 volt battery you will see that there's just two pins connected to it the red one is a positive and the black one is a negative this one has the same one, this one has two in there. Now what you will notice with this one is, there's also a red wire going to here and a black wire going to here, but there's also a bridge piece in here. So if your UPS has two batteries, you'll need to get two batteries. So you'll need to get two 45 amp hour batteries or two 100 amp hour batteries, depending on how much you want to spend on batteries. So this is gonna be more expensive. If you only have the one battery model, UPS then you only need to get one of the bigger batteries okay so this is the battery that I'm going to be using with the UPS this is a hundred amp hour battery whereas the older battery that was in here was a seven amp hour battery the one drawdown that you are going to have with these batteries with the bigger ones is that they're going to be charging a lot slower on these little UPSs it wasn't a problem for me as uh, the six or what hours between load shedding was uh, enough to charge the battery up so that my lights could stay on and my Wi-Fi could stay on as well. So yeah, let me show you how to connect this. So here you have four screws. Just undo the four screws and we can open it up. Now remember, your UPS might look a bit different um, than this one. I have already disconnected the battery. As you can see here, there's a red wire that goes there and a black wire that goes there. All you have to do is put these two wires on your bigger battery. Remove this battery. You can toss that one or recycle it. And uh, yeah, let me show you how to extend those wires. Okay, so what I got here is uh, some battery terminal clips. And uh, there's some wire attached to it, just long enough to reach the bigger battery. This is 4mm wire or 12 gauge. I think it is 
So four millimeter wire, I think it's the minimum. If you look at this one, not go any thinner than this. Otherwise the wires will get hot, especially with a bigger battery. And uh, yeah, so we need to drill a hole in the side for the wires to pass through. Now thread your new wires through the hole and uh, connect them inside red with red and black with black. So you can use these uh, connector blocks just to connect the wires or either you can use uh, ferrules. Okay, and that's it. That's all you need to do inside and uh, let's close this close this up again So now you can just connect the uh, positive to your positive point and the negative to your negative point and There you have it So keep the main power connected to your inverter, the UPS at all time. And then keep these battery terminals on at all time so that it charges when the ESCOM power is available. When you switch off, you can just plug your lead in the back here and power your Wi-Fi, your TV and maybe a LED lamp or two. And uh, yeah, that way you can uh, bypass the ESCOM load shedding. Like I said previously, if you have the one with the two batteries in there. You will have to get two bigger batteries and breach them the same way that these two are breached inside here. The normal way would be the neutral goes in here and the uh, live in here inside the UPS and these two are breached. So you will have to do the same on the bigger ones. The neutral wire goes to the neutral point, positive goes to the positive of the other battery and then you will have to have a bridge between the one bigger battery and the other one. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope that helps. This really helped me a lot for more than two years. I got the bigger UPS as well, where I had the two batteries and I connected it to my DB board to power all the lights in the house as well as the Wi-Fi and one of the TVs. So that way you don't even know about load shedding. Okay, have a great day. Remember to subscribe and uh, hit that thumbs up button.